We consider convergent sequences of graphs along with associated sequences of graph filters. We show that if the graph sequences converge towards, towards a graphon, the graph filter sequence converges towards a graphon filter in the frequency domain. We are given a set of filter coefficients hk, which we use to construct a sequence of graph filters that are defined over a sequence of graphs. For each shift operator Sn in the graph sequence, we have a filter h of Sn in the graph filter sequence, defined as a usual polynomial with coefficients hk. We also use the same coefficients to build a graphon filter which is a polynomial with the same coefficients, but one in which the variable is the graphon shift operator Tw. The question we address here is, does the graph filter converge to the graphon filter? This is a good question and we are going to provide a response, but it is not the most pertinent question. Filters are used to process signals. Thus, filter convergence is important only in as much as it implies convergence of filter outputs. A more pertinent question is, consequently, whether graph filter outputs converge to graphon filter outputs. To study this question, we consider a convergent sequence of graph signals GnXn that converge towards the graphon signal Wx. The graph signal Xn is then fed as an input to the graph filter H of Sn to produce the output graph signal Yn. We do this for all the signal graph pairs in the sequence. Likewise, we feed the graphon signal X to the graphon filter TH to produce the, graph the output graphon signal Y. Our objective here is to describe convergence results for the graph signal sequence GN, YN. This sequence can be shown to converge to the graphon signal WY under some conditions. Thus, taking the limit of the graph signal sequence and applying a filter is the same as applying a filter and taking the limit. We can understand graph filters in the limit by studying the corresponding graphon filter. Underlying this convergence analysis is the algebraic equivalency between graph filters, graphon filters, and their respective fre frequency representations. More formally, when we are given filter coefficients hk, we have five different polynomials, which are all the same except that they are evaluated at different variables. Two of these polynomials are representations in the node domain. They are the graph filter sequence H of Sn, which is a polynomial in variable Sn, and the graphon filter Th, which is the same polynomial defined in variable Tw. The other three polynomials are representations in the spectral domain. The most important of the three is the frequency response of the graph and graphon filters. This is a polynomial on the scalar variable lambda. We recall the very important fact that the frequency responses of the graph filter and the graphon filter are the same. If you care to know, this is because a graph filter and graphon filter are the same algebraic object. Evaluating the frequency response of the graph at the graph eigenvalues gives the frequency representation of the graph filter. And evaluating the frequency response of the graphon, which is the same response of the graph filter at the graphon eigenvalues, gives the frequency representation of the graphon filter. Having introduced these pre preliminary definitions, we can present a theorem that claims convergence of the graph filter sequences in the frequency domain. To state the theorem, recall the definition of the frequency representation of the graph filter, as well as the definition of the frequency representation of the graphon filter. We have just introduced these two. They are the same polynomial evaluated at different frequencies. Consider then the filter coefficients hk as fixed and given. These coefficients generate a sequence of graph filters h of sn supported on a sequence of graphs Gn. All of the filters use the same coefficients, but they run on different graphs. We use the same filter coefficients to generate the graphon filter Th supported on the graphon W. If the graph sequence Gn converges to the graphon W, the frequency representations of the graph filters converge to the frequency representation of the graphon. 
The theorem says that the GFT representation of the graph filter sequence converges to the WFT representation of the graph on filter. Having convergence of frequency representations is neither unexpected nor strong. That the result is not unexpected is due to the fact that the frequency representations converge because the eigenvalues converge and the frequency responses of the graph and graph on filters are the same. As we grow the index n, the eigenvalues of the graph approach the eigenvalues of the graphon. Given that the frequency response is continuous, it is a polynomial and the responses converge as well. This is literally the proof of the theorem. That the result is not strong is due to the fact that the GFT and the WFT are representations that exist in our minds. We use them for analysis, but we never compute them. Filters operate in the node domain. So meaningful convergence results must make claims on signal values, not on their transference.